to the Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another Warhammer 40,000 battle report for you today. Blood Angels versus Necrons in the Ice Wastes. We're playing Crusade with three objectives uh, and playing pitched battle. So we have uh, one objective on the ice ruins there, one in the trench in the center, and a third on the top of the mountain. So that is our table. We'll be right back with armies. First up for armies, we've got the Blood Angels, 2,000 points. Josh is going to walk us down his force. So for my Warlord and my only HQ choice, I have a Chaplain with a Jump Pack. For his Warlord trait, he rolled Speed of the Primarch, so he has plus one initiative for this game. And he's going to be rolling around with ten Death Company with Jump Packs and one guy with a Thunder Hammer and a Bolter. Then for my troops, I have three Tactical Squads. I have one full Tactical Squad that has a Flamer, Heavy Flamer, a Combi Flamer, and a Veteran Sergeant with a Power Fist, and they are in a Rhino. Then I have two identical tactical squads that are five men strong with melt bombs on the sergeant and a plasma gun and they are in Razorbacks that have a last cannon twin link plasma gun on them. Then for my fast attack choices I have two identical assault squads. They have two melt guns and a veteran sergeant with a power fist leading them. Then I have a Furioso Dreadnought in a drop pod with a Deathwind launcher, and he has a Magna Grapple, a Heavy Flamer, and a Frag Cannon. For my heavy supports, I have two identical uh, Bell Predators with uh, Heavy Bolt Responsons, and then I have a Fast Vindicator with a Seed Shield. There they are, Blood Angels, 2,000 points. Next, we've got the Necrons, 2,000 points um, for HQs. I have a Luminor Zeris, and my Warlord is Nemesaur Xandri. Uh, five Lich Guard are with him, Hypervase Swords and Dispersion Shields. I have a unit of 16 Warriors, two units of 15 Warriors, and two units of 10 Immortals for troops. I also have two um, Triarch Stalkers with uh, Heat Rays, and then two Monoliths as heavy supports. So that is the Necrons. You've seen the table and you've seen the armies. We'll be back after deployment. Deployment is complete. Necrons here. Got first turn. We have one group of warriors here. The 16-man squad in the middle. Um, they did get plus one toughness from uh, Illuminor's heirs. Uh, and then the other 15-man squad on the flank. Warriors are in reserve. Two monoliths, two stalkers. And then we have the uh, command unit here. Zeris is joined to them for the time being. Um, we have uh, two Razorbacks on this flank. The assault squads, Bell Predator and tactical squad across the center. Vindicator and Death Company make up the flank. So that's set up. Um, Necrons are going first unless the Blood Angels can seize the initiative. And they do not. So Necrons will be going first. We'll be back following Necron turn one. Necron turn one rolls to an end. Uh, focused a lot of our efforts here. Uh, moved a squad of Immortals on in kind of a risky position along with these guys to try to kill that Vindicator. Only managed two hole points, unfortunately. Um, we did kill three Death Company with a blast from this Monolith moving up. Uh, this Monolith fired on the squad there and killed two Marines. Killed some more with uh, fire from the Warriors. So not a lot done, but a little bit of damage coming in on them. Um, that is the end of Necron turn one, Blood Angel response. Coming Blood up. Angel's turn one rolls to an end. Uh, we have lost uh, five warriors from here and five warriors from here. I actually need to make some morale checks. So the squad here on the end is fine with a four and the squad on the other side of the monolith is fine with a five. Uh, we lost uh, five here, five here. Uh, Dreadnought did his thing. I only made like one reanimation, so he chewed me up pretty good. Um, Laz Cannon's down yonder, tried to take this monolith out, but did no damage. Uh, Bell Predators chewed on the front of this squad pretty good. Um, damaged Assault Squad jumped to the center of the table, ran into the terrain here. Uh, these guys faced with a charge through terrain, went ahead and ran. Death Company rolled a 1 to run. These guys rolled a 3, so they went ahead and pushed up and spread out a little. Vindicator fired here, had all 10 of these guys, a couple of warriors, and the monolith, but luckily for me, scattered six inches th or 5 inches this way. Clipped one warrior, one immortal. The immortal did go down. The warrior, he rolled a one to win. So, uh, ten warriors are in the garbage bin waiting recycling. Um, we will be back following uh, Necron turn two. No first blood scored yet. Oh, also, uh, Drop Pod did roll a one, knock himself to one whole point. Fired his shot here, picked a couple of guys up as well. So, like I said, no first blood yet. Uh, we'll be back following Necron turn two. Turn two for the Necrons is finished. The... Uh, First Stalker stepped up onto the hill, fired into the Dreadnought, and exploded him. Uh, the Warriors here, uh, the Nemesaur Xandric left Illuminor Zaris behind. 
he joined this warrior squad and fired into the drop pod Eldritch Lance pinned it and blew it up uh, the warriors here and the immortals that phased through the monolith this turn here both fired into the marines there left one guy standing um, monolith fired here killed three or four marines um, or sorry that was this monolith this monolith fired at the death company and scattered completely off the table um, the immortals here rapid fired into the vindicator and destroyed it the warriors fired into the marines and killed i think five of them um, so cut up the assault element pretty good uh, dreadnought also i think i said exploded from this guy uh, this stalker tried to knock the vindicator out but failed so tactical marines uh, about a third of the uh, assault force coming in this turn plus the fire support elements uh, blood angels turn two coming up Blood Angel turn two is done. Uh, Marines jumped out here, killed off three or four warriors here. They passed a morale check. Uh, Lone Marine pulled off to hold the objective here on the hill. Uh, tanks pulled around to add their firepower. This Bell Predator did immobilize himself on terrain as he was trying to exit though. Picked up a few more warriors here. Um, Death Company and the two surviving Marines charged in here, wiped this warrior blob out. Um, one of the two Marines died catching Overwatch to get the Death Company in and the other one was killed in melee by a single warrior. Um, one death company went down, but they did clean up all of the warriors. So that squad's out of the picture. Um, that is Blood Angels. Turn two. Necron's turn three coming up. Necron turn three rolls to an end. We're going to go ahead and call it there. Um, the immortals here backed off, tried to get out of the template range here through uh, the templates from both monoliths and firepower from the stalkers. We were able to destroy the rhino and the ten marines there. Um, the Immortals finished the last guy off. The back squad of Immortals fired into the Death Company here. Um, killed an insane number of them. I think killed three of them and killed the Chaplain too. Through four failed lookout sirs. Um, the rest of the Death Company were killed off by Zandrick and his Lich Guard bodyguard. Um, the Warriors with, Z with Zaris rolled insanely lucky. Uh, scored three glancing hits on seven dice against that. He stopped one with cover, but then Zaris blew it up with an Eldritch Lance shot. Um, and like I said, cleaned up everything here in the center. So at that, the Blood Angels are down to just the three tanks with the ten guys inside and the Assault Marine moving up the hill. So at that point, they're going to go ahead and call it. So that will be a Necron victory, two to z or six to zero in terms of objectives. Uh, Necron scored first blood, no line breaker. Um, and they did score a lot to slay the warlord. So 8-0 to zero Necrons. Um, we will have after action uh, reviews and army lists at the blog as always. Follow the links in the description. Uh, and if you want to put your guys on some of these uh, bases that Josh's Blood Angels are mounted on, uh, we'll have a link there as well to get some of those bases which the Maelstrom is now producing. So uh, we appreciate the time you spent with us here at the Maelstrom. Like us, give us a subscribe, follow us on Facebook because that's the best place to see all of our new material as it comes out, and we will catch you next time. Thanks for spending some time with us today here at the Maelstrom.